Hi guys, so what is the square root of i? Where i, of course, is the square root of negative 1, so i squared is minus 1. Well, it's probably a complex number, so let's write the square root of i as a plus bi. That's the general form for a complex number where a and b are real numbers. Now let's square both sides of the equation. On the left, we get the square root of i squared, and on the right, we get a plus bi squared. Multiplying that out, this is what we get. And now keep in mind that bi squared is b squared i squared, and since i squared is negative 1, that's equal to negative b squared. So we can write that as i is a squared plus 2abi minus b squared. So on the left, we can write i as 0 plus 1 times i, and let's rearrange the terms on the right. So, so the real part of the complex number on the left must be 0, and on the right must be a squared minus b squared. And the imaginary part on the left must be 1, and on the right must be 2ab. So we can equate the real and imaginary parts, giving us a squared minus b squared must be 0, and 2ab has to be 1. Now we have two equations and two unknowns. Let's see if we can solve for a and b. Equation 2 gives us a is 1 divided by 2b. And then substituting that in for a in equation 1 gives us an equation only involving b. Let's solve this equation for b. 1 over 2b quantity squared is 1 over 4b squared. Now we'll multiply both sides by 4b squared. On the left, we end up with 1 minus 4b to the fourth. So 1 minus 4b to the fourth is 0 which means 4b to the fourth has to be equal to 1. Solving that for b to the fourth gives us b to the fourth is 1 fourth. Now we can take the square root of both sides, would give us b squared as plus or minus a half. But we don't want b to be an imaginary number, so we'll just take the positive answer. So b squared has to be a half if b is going to be a real number. That gives that b is plus or minus 1 over the square root of 2. So we have two possibilities for b. Let's take each one. If b is 1 over the square root of 2, since 2 times a b is 1, a times b must be equal to a half. So that gives that a must also be 1 over the square root of 2. And so we get one answer. 1 over the square root of 2 plus 1 over the square root of 2 times i. Now if b is minus 1 over the square root of 2, by a similar argument, we'll get that a is also minus 1 over the square root of 2, and we get another answer. So we get two answers for the square root of i. And that's it, and thanks for watching.